Well, folks, you are seeing the last pass with this planter, at least, on this tournament. This is our last field we're planting. Will we hold off and win this thing? Don't know, but we're going to give it one heck of a try. This is Stevio here, back on the tournament. So hopefully you all had a great 4th of July. We are just cleaning up a little cotton on the edge of our field here. So we're trying to win this tournament. So I, I come on here around four hours a day, try to at least, and try to see if we can stay in the lead. So right now the hired help Giant salad help leaves a little, you know, edge of the field here. So we're just cleaning that up quickly. Uh, and then we got to move these harvesters over to our next field. Uh, I believe I'm just going to use Squad's truck for that. Uh, it's, we kind of have our fields separated. We got our, we got fields to the east and we got fields to the west and we got another team kind of in between us so we uh, haul our harvesters because if you all know these cotton pickers go slow so don't want to drive on a 4x map with a cotton picker driving along here we don't clean all the edge up but we try to clean uh, as much as we can so it's just because time is the most valuable thing on this tournament because of the cotton we just don't clean it up as much as we probably should but we do try to get most of it looks like uh, we got a strip in the middle of this field too. So we're going long. Currently we're still in the lead. I don't know if that's going to hold or not. So we will see. I do have more bales made. So I'll have to see if there's another high price. So this tournament lasts until Saturday. I don't know when on Saturday, but it does last until Saturday. Uh, I don't know how they are going to judge the winners and all that. Obviously, the one that made the most money is the easy one to judge. The other ones may not be as easy. So we will see. That's up to them. I'm just a team player. Go along here and then we're going to hire out a worker. Then we need to go over to our squad's truck. We need to move this uh, other cotton picker back over. And then we also need to clear these bales off this field so we can get it planted again. So I know you guys are like, oh, he's doing cotton again, but we kind of went all down and now we don't really have a choice anymore. So it's like, uh, I got it set up pretty good. Let's see, this cotton picker might be a big challenge for the squad's truck. We'll see if it's up to the challenge. I would like it if Giants would allow you to strap vehicles like this. Do we have to back this on? May have to back this on because of the header height. I thought we have the header picked up. Yeah, we do. Most people transporting these probably transform backwards anyways because of the 
expensive windshields they have on them. We'll have to take that very easy and probably at least shut it off. Pull the ramp in. So let's see once we get on this road how this squad truck is handling this weight here. Uh, it's gonna be stay oh oh stay on stay on. All right, let's see. Okay, we got a little bit, of course, smash down there of the springs. Actually, it's handling it pretty well. I don't know the exact weight of these cotton pickers, but so we are going to take this one over, get him started. Oh wow, I just barely missed that highline pull. It's like I planned it or something that way. So I like doing outside the cab when I'm transporting a load like this just because you really got to watch and see how the load is handling would be nice like I said before if you could strap down big old harvest pick or a cotton picker here uh, ooh, I cut that a little bit too sharp We have a little ways to go. The thing about this map and roads, you stay away from the edge because that edge is kind of a sharp drop off and once you hit it, it kind of sucks you in. It's kind of like the old country roads when you get the ruts in and you're going down the road and all of a sudden your tire gets grabbed into the rut. Same here. So along the road. We were, oh, my brakes ain't working. Wanted to stop there, but we're going to stop right here. So we need to go over here. finish up the outskirts of this field and then move them over to the field we uh, I call it our triangle field so you get this field planted Definitely might end up buying another planter just because it's hard with the planters we have now, but I think we may. I think maybe we could even put our 4960 on a planter. definitely a deep valley you don't want to get higher worker doesn't want to get too crazy on because uh, not getting a tractor out of that valley down there river valley
we're spreading a little fertilizer on our crops here. Freshly planted cotton. I know, big, big surprise. You guys are probably all surprised we're planting more cotton. So I don't know exactly what day this term ends. Some people said that it's today and some people said it's tomorrow, Saturday. So we'll see. So that's why I'm still getting this crop ready because this could be ready to harvest tomorrow just in case we need it to hold the lead. Uh, and I need to sell more of my cotton bale supply. So I'm trying to sell all that. Basically sell everything because I don't know exactly when I'll be able to get on or anything like that or if my teammates will be able to get on. Really like these fertilizer spreaders. Very efficient for a 4x map because of their speed. I wish somebody would take this mod and fix the little airs on it, and that would be great. This would be one of my favorite fertilizer spreaders. So these type of truck spreaders were pretty common where I grew up. Don't know if they're that common anymore. So we need to spread this field. I try this this one of our triangle fields field five and then field six right across the street there and also we need to sell some of our bales at our place so we'll hire hired help out here make sure this hired help you know, sometimes Giants helpers are a little bit derpy, like that. A little bit crazy when it comes to them trees over here. Can't quite read them correctly. So we'll help them out. See struggles sometimes. Alright, we'll hire him there. 17 bales. We need to haul them over to... Uh, clutch barn over here so he doesn't care if we sell Ooh, we got a rock and bale there so clutch doesn't care if we sell on his sale barns basically because he just worry he is just doing silage bales we don't sell silage bales so kind of made a deal where he could sell silage bales on our barn and we could sell cotton on his so we're gonna go over there it's a little bit of a distance so I will time-lapse this so enjoy So we got the last three bales from the farmyard. We're taking it over for the last sale. So we still got bales over on our, uh, what is it, west side fields. 
So field six and seven and field 11 have bales on that need to be cleared off. So we got, this will get us close to 46. So we're getting up there pretty good. So I don't know when the last day is of this tournament and exactly if uh, if we have one more day or not so I am making sure we stay ahead as best as I can so just selling this low So we got a harvester, or actually a cotton picker, that needs some gasoline. So we're running back here. We're going to go run them some gasoline here quick. No Ford. Got some seed on the back. Not sure why that's there, but never know when you need some extra bags of seed. We're making fairly good. So this is probably going to be the last day of this tournament. So there's a lot of people on, a lot of farming going on. Uh, don't think we're going to do much more. We're probably finish planting field 7. That will probably be our last field we plant because I don't see much reason to plant any of our other fields. We will go take our this truck over here got a stranded harvester this truck sure is loud I'm sure it's loud in real life too but I guess the IH international symbols because it's the international engine, I believe. So that's harvester somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's over here on the side. Get him filled up quickly. Not for sure where these harvesters like fuel trailer at. Hopefully the hose will fit right here. So there we go. We're filling up with fuel. That's good. Get this bad boy running over here. And he's off again. We'll leave the hired hand be while we move our Ford. Take him back to our farmyard. Probably should slow down a little bit in this field. This Ford just got so much torque, it just shoots right out. You really gotta feather the throttle on it. Got a couple fields of cotton there growing of ours. Going good. It probably, I don't know if we'll get to harvesting them fields or not just because I believe either today or tomorrow. So I heard two things I heard today and I heard the farming tournament ends tomorrow not sure when so we're acting as it's May in tomorrow so we're still planning on keeping a crop ready if we need it one last push we did make six million 
today, another six million in our cotton. So I think we're doing good. Don't know if we'll pull off the win or not, but should be at least close. Pull into our farmyard here. I'm trying to keep the farmyard really cleaned up. So it's been pretty hectic with all my hired help that come on and my teammates. So I like to keep a very clean farmyard. Don't like too much of a mess. Kind of get that way when so much is going on. Back this old girl up here. Good spot for this truck. So I had some controller problems and literally this is how close I was to the edge of the map. I was probably feet away from losing my planting rig. All I know is my controller disconnected and somehow I shot a good what through this ditch through all this I don't know even how I got over that ditch I must have just shot over it it's kind of impressive so we'll get out this this person's field I'm not sure who this is hopefully won't get a fine because that was a uh, malfunction of my controller So we're farming around here. We got two DB90s. So this is probably our last field we plant on the tournament. So I don't think we'd probably be worth planting another one. Don't even know if this one's really worth planting or not. Uh, going to make use this planter to go around the edge. Another planter is hired out. We're running the Challenger. Try a little in cab planting here. So, got my mirrors to work. Too bad we can't adjust that mirror over there. We need to see the edge of the planter. Got a few bales over here to the side. I believe 18 or 19 bales there. So, the prices have just tanked so much where we're just going to hold on to them. Actually, I think that's a little bit less. I don't. Maybe that's just about 15 bales there. I also have about 21 bales right across the street. So I believe that's all of our stockpile. Unless we find them in the woods again around the floating trees. Maybe the floating trees on this map are magic and they make cotton modules. You never know. You never know what map makers create uh, farming along the edge be amazed but I do if I can stay out of these uh, tree limbs go around here a little again this this side of the field is a little odd shape so Definitely have to help out the Giants helpers. So at least that mirror, my center mirror, mirror there, at least lets me know I'm doing something. I think that's my most productive mirror. Because these two aren't really that productive. That one's definitely giving me the warm fuzzy like, hey, uh, you forgot to lower your planner. So, you never know when you do that. I've done it. Trust me, I've done it. I'm guilty of that. So, as you can see, we have just over 46 million now. So, I don't know if 
Team 3 is our only real close member, I think, unless another team pulls off a huge miracle. I know Team 2, they're farming hard today too, so, but I think they are so far down, but it is possible, but they're definitely going to have to work all nighter. But Team 3, not for sure how much if stockpile of bales they have, if they can make up the difference or not, never know. With cotton, you can make a lot of money quick, that's for sure. If you guys remember, this is what we call the tractor catcher, which I have on my fields, but I didn't have on the neighbor's field, so my controller malfunction I just about lost this rig so that would have been unfortunate I probably wouldn't have bought it again because it wouldn't have been worth it so would have had to plant this hole with one DB90 so I think I'm gonna plant this field then take the planters clean them up one last time service them all good and basically that's that's it for the tournament but they've been treating me so good in these tractors that I just have to uh, put them away properly. Can't just put them away all dirty to be sold, neglected. You gotta treat them right. So we've got a high edge over here on the side. A big water ditch that we jumped across earlier. So one last hurrah for the tournament. So I had just had to put all the equipment away, cleaned up, put away, treated us so well, made us so much money on this tournament. Don't know if we'll win, but we will come close, hopefully. So good final farewell to all of our hardworking equipment here on this map. Even our harvesters that barely got used. These poor babies here. And our cotton pickers that got abused. If you don't know, guys, I put a vote out for the next series. I would like you guys to vote on what you would like to see because your opinion matters to me. So thank you for all your support. And I will see you later. Thank you.